So everybody, let's go ahead and do a small little reveal coming up. Chill, everybody, because you know what? We've got a beautiful person coming up uh, for GM number one, Iron GM Peach. And yeah, you all know who Iron GM Peach is. Now, the big, the bad, and the possibly uh, terrifying GM who we haven't had before is good old Jelly Boy, probably not Jelly Boy, Smite there in the middle, and finally, GM Orb for the third choice. Now, our players definitely had a lot of fun trying to choose. Uh, our first player, some girl, decided to go with Jeff. Oh yeah, Jeff, you're already in chat, hello. I am so ready and so excited for this. You're, you're spoiling just... things. Actually, no, 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 because uh, Zandra chose Smite, and it turns out that we got Cadis, but you are here doing oh, voice sorry. for us. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, everybody thought that you were going to be the GM, but you technically are not. You're just here doing commentary for Cadis's choice. So, Jeff, what game do we have coming up today? Oh, man, this is so good. It's called Search for Mom. And as it suggests, you're you're looking for your mom. Aw, where is she? Yeah, you're actually gonna see her really early on in the game, um, but then you won't be able to get to her for many many levels. Oh no, that's sad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I want to see mom like right now. Um, well, you just need to wait a moment. Fine, I'll go ahead and wait. I guess. Uh, so right now, by the way, I'm working on getting everything set up for this next match. What type of game is this? Do you have any idea? Is it a platformer? It is a. It is basically a platformer uh, with some puzzle elements to it. A platformer with puzzle elements. That sounds hopeful. Yeah. So. Um, it's actually, uh, so this is a game that was made in 1991. It's a Dutch game, and it's a reimagining of Manic Miner, which was a 1983 game made for the ZX Spectrum originally. That sounds um, vaguely familiar, actually, yeah. It was a, a, a pretty well-known game uh, and, and well-liked game. Um, this reimagining is neither well-known nor well-liked. Okay. Well, I'm imagining it'll still be fun, especially for us. <laughs> yeah, um I I think that uh, I think you'll like it, bro. Oh, sweet. Well, good, good. I I like a lot of things though, you know. I I like the last game, uh, Beasts of Horror. Absolutely terrifying. Ooh. That was quite a find, uh, that oh, last game. it was so good. Absolutely, absolutely fun. So this uh, company, Triple Soft, is just one person. Uh, Eric Van Bilsen, and he actually made quite a few games. Um, for the MSX. This okay. particular game uh, was uh, distributed through the MSX Club as a, a diskette that uh, came with it. Aw, they sent yeah. it as a club game? Aw, that's yeah. lovely. I absolutely... I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm so it was love. a homebrew. That was just, and and it's, this was from a, a, a Dutch club. Um that uh, lasted for a couple years. Actually, the folks that ran the, uh, the Dutch club are still uh, doing development uh, for PC and Android. Wait, really? Yeah. I don't know about the, the developer of this game, but the magazine publishers are still around. They still maintain their website from, <laughs> uh, with uh, editions of all their old uh, magazines. Aww. Which are in Dutch, but fortunately, uh, Jangle Storm translated uh, for us a review of this game. Aw, Jangle! 
Yeah. You're so, um, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm shout a... outs to Jangle for taking some time to uh, uh, translate this for us. We'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that when we actually get into the game. All right. Yeah. Give me just a little bit because I do see both players streaming, but I want to make sure that we get it looking as oh, so beautiful as we can. Uh, so, thank you everybody for coming and watching. This is Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament here. Usually, uh, you know, at this point in the tournament, we stop getting nice games. And in essence, a lot of the brutality comes out. Occasionally, we see something that is enjoyable. And I, I would say that the last game that we had, Beasts of Horror while fun was not necessarily good. It, you know, it, it was fun for me. Had you seen that game before, Jeff? I watched it on Macaw's stream for about two hours. Um, I was, I was, he's my hero for finding that. Uh, I was Aww. really impressed uh, with it and, and for actually being able to beat the game. Yeah, that is not something that everybody can play or claim when it comes to some of these games. They often end up being pretty dang brutal, which I have a feeling we're going to see a little brutality coming from this game here. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty dang sure. Uh, Search for Mum is the game we have. Let me go ahead and make sure that we have audio working just fine before we start getting ready to roll. So it looks like this would be a, a title screen, but they're actually in the game playing right now. Oh, really? <laughs> and you can see their, their time ticking down. Um, they actually, uh, I guess, um, Xandro was started the game a little earlier, and so they're uh, almost out of lives. So we'll, we'll just have them reset. Okay, I'm checking with them right now to see if they are set to begin this game. Wait, apparently this is Monty Python? Uh-oh. Yeah, so they use the... Um... The song popularized by Monty Python's Flying Circus is actually a um, John Philip Sousa song, uh, Liberty Bell March. Gotcha. I'm going to be doing the I... countdown, by the way. Uh, if you can spam keys, uh, worms, moms, anything that's relevant to this, uh, let's go ahead and get this countdown going. Best of luck, players. I hope you enjoy. All right, so have they have they restarted yet? They will restart on go. Got it. Okay. And as soon as I see movement in one of their streams in the first level, I will start our timer. And I believe that is Xander going. Is that a title screen or is that actually started? That is the title. That is the title screen and. and... The computer's playing. It basically is oh, showing okay. you what to do in the game. Uh, I was mistaken. Just collect keys. Get keys. Okay. And there we go. Zandra is in level one. We've got timer started, and we are rolling here. It looks like some girls was just uh, about seven seconds behind. We'll keep that in mind if anything comes down to that if it gets super close and first death already <laughs> oh no <laughs> a very very challenging game for what it is and it's mostly because jumping is so awkward why is it awkward what's awkward about it uh you jump uh diagonally okay um and so diagonally up and then diagonally down and you don't have a lot of control over your character and then the the enemies sort of go back and forth, oh, and you really need to take the time to figure out just how far to the left or right they're going to go before turning around. Um, but you can't do that because there's a timer at the bottom. And 
<laughs> if you actually sit there, well, um, you'll you'll die. And there's mom. Oh She's yeah, I saw her. Oh yeah. no, this has fall damage. Oh, of course it has fall damage. No. And that's actually part of the uh, the puzzling that you have to do. Oh, this is gonna out. be so hard. Yeah. I, I like Mum though. Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a slide that they need to slide down right there. Uh, yeah, some so girl that part's going easy. Down. Yeah. That just the sliding happens automatically. Um, this is one of those games where soft locking is a feature. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no. So if you, uh, for for a number of the levels, if you uh, collect the keys in the wrong order, you can't finish them. And it's mostly because of this physics with these, uh, what looks sort of like ladders, but are essentially conveyor belts that only go in one direction. Okay. Um, so if it takes you up to a level uh, and above the key, then you can't go back down, which is what just happened on some girl's stream. Oh no, some girl. Well, you know, that's fine. It happens. So they, they built in, uh, knowing people are going to soft lock, uh, you can hit escape to kill yourself and restart the level. Ah, very nice. Yeah, it looks like some girl is on level two, technically. Unfortunately, not going to be able to grab that key. And that is a death right there. Game over. Now wow. there was some fall damage. But, you know, the fall damage is actually not as bad as it is in some platformers because it's actually uh, part of the design of the puzzles. That is, if you are doing them in the correct way, you necessarily will not get fall damage. Oh my gosh. I, I'm just thinking, these hitboxes are certainly going to be a problem. They're very large hitboxes on the enemies and uh, on you as well, and so it's, it's very difficult to uh, uh, to not make contact. And it's really precision platforming, which yeah. is really bad for a game with this kind of tri uh, diag diagonal uh, jumping. Yeah, how do you? I, I don't know. It's it's weird. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be a little bit of one of the frustrating factors that they're going to have to get past while playing this. And it's unfortunate because other than the, the jumping, this is really quite a decent remake of, um, of Manic Miner with much better graphics. Um, you know, being on the MSX, it has uh, better, better audio quality. Um, and uh, some of the enemies you'll, you'll see are a little goofy, um, but uh, it also has um, this kind of interesting hybrid technology where it's not exactly one room you're looking at. You can see it's continuous, but at any one moment you only have uh, one screen. Like It doesn't slide uh, a scroll smoothly from one to the next. Uh, so, but it's certainly an improvement from the ZX Spectrum, where each screen was one level. Yeah, is, is there any way, by the way, to tell uh, how many keys are left that you need to get, or...? No, that's part of the fun. Oh, fun. Okay. And some girl just missed a key. Uh, there's no going back for it. Yeah, that, that's kind of life when it comes to this. Honestly, you just want to figure out what you need to do next. Oh, those skulls are so hard to jump over. Yeah. I don't like them. So, I mean, I'm bad at video games in general, but I could not get... I got past the skulls... I played this for like half an hour. I got past the skulls once. <laughs> um, and then I died going going back across, which you have to do. Gotcha. So yeah. I think... But yeah, even if you... Uh, even if you basically soft lock on a level, it is really important to uh, just use that time to explore so it's not wasted. I agree. That would be a very good thing to do. So Cadis is our referee. He chose this game. This game specifically is going to be uh, based off of how many keys they collect. That is our goal when it comes to progress. Yeah, I'm basically your Cadus for the day. Aww. 
that's cool. Or at least Cadus's voice for the day. Uh oh. <laughs> and this is a pretty long game. So uh, you have. Um, there is a YouTube video of this, but it only goes up through the first nine levels. As far as I know, you know, there is no uh, record of how long this game is. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever beaten it. <laughs> I have um, no idea. Yeah. But even the the video that showed nine levels was was done using the rewind function of OpenMSX Emulator. So, hey, um, some girl is through to the telephone room. Yeah. So yeah, a rotary telephone. Um, which was not really a thing by 1991. Um, uh, and I, I was I was hoping uh, when I gave this game out that uh, nobody. I, I was hoping everybody would know what a rotary phone is, because otherwise I'd feel real old if people would have never seen a rotary phone in their life. Yeah. But yeah, I, I at least do. So there you go. There you go, Jeff. Yeah, we All never right. actually had one of those in my house. You know, we 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 had plenty of phones with cords, but that's about it. I think Xandra is going to be finding out that that is a soft lock. You can't go down ladders. Uh, phones with cords. I'm talking about rotary. Like there no, there's no uh, touch yeah, tone. Like know. there are no buttons on it, right? Yeah. So you turn it. You use your finger. You turn it. Yeah. I remember what is that some. To people I didn't particularly love too much had a rotary phone that I used. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Okay, hey, some girl is on to level four. Some girl is doing amazing right now. This is being great. I do not like that movement when you jump. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. I mean, it's it's one of the biggest things holding this game back from being playable. Because the puzzling is actually kind of... I'm not going to say clever, but, but competent. Um, and so if, if this had good movement, I think it might actually be fun and not frustrating to go through and figure out, all right, how do you route this? What's the way to get all the keys? Uh, without soft locking. Okay. I love Mum. She is just so sad. She is very sad. She's well, also very large. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, think... no offense, Mum. <laughs> you know what? You saying that is what made her sad. Okay, Jeff. It's all your fault. She was already sad. <laughs> wow. She's she's locked in a room there. I and, mean, yeah, uh, it's like somebody locked her in the closet. Yeah, so she's unhappy about that. And the sad thing is, like, <laughs> these levels take you the opposite direction from her. Eventually, you kind of wind back around uh, and get real close to her, uh, and then it takes you far away again. So, a lot of levels you have to go through. It's also interesting, uh, the, the rooms are referred to as levels, um, yeah. and your timer resets every time you get to a new room. So that's how the timer system works. This game really doesn't need a timer system, let me just say. Like, you're already pretty pressed like, for getting past the skulls and getting softlock. I mean, I, I guess it does prevent softlocks, you know? You can't say if a so it's a softlock if you can run out of time and die, right? <laughs> that is that is technically true. I mean, they also, you know, have the escape key as a mechanism to end the level. But, yeah, it's sort of like... The, the challenge of this is not so much running out of time as just platforming through the levels. I love this music. It's so happy. There was definitely a good choice uh, to, to pick this. Looks 
some girls getting, uh, I, I also really enjoy the credits just being distributed throughout the game. That's actually really uh, charming. It Aww. is. And you know, developers deserve, well, there's only one developer, but developers deserve to be recognized. And you know what? This game actually looks pretty good. What What is this on the MSX? Yeah, this is an MSX like, game, and it, it came out relatively late in the MSX. It, it definitely uh, looks like a sort of uh, ZX Spectrum style uh, going on. You know, what you would expect to see there. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's because this was um, a, a remake of a ZX Spectrum game. That makes sense. So, uh, you might have uh, missed it, but on some girl's uh, stream, uh, she got to uh, the part where the, I don't know what you call them, but these, these blue uh, platforms disappear, oh, yeah. and it looks like that's how you're supposed to go down to the next level, but when you do that, you get fall damage and well, die, so... Yeah, that's just uh, if you don't land on the box in the middle. It, in essence, it's a blind draw. Exactly. Uh, and you have to line up right in the middle of the platform in order to do that. Because, uh, yeah, you didn't like blind jumps? Well, you get this. Yeah, I, that's always a great thing to have with fall damage, is blind jumps. Makes a, a really good combination. Okay, there we go. Some girl managing to get the blind drop. It looks like Very Xander nice. is making some pretty good progress here as well. Yeah, it's pretty close. Um... Yeah, some girl definitely had a better start, but Xandra, look, already this far, four lives left. You know, maintaining yeah. those lives is pretty huge. And once you kind of get the hang of the platforming, you can you can cope with it. Uh, I mean, the the jumping, you can cope with it. True. Um, it's just a little bit unlike what people might have uh, often been used to with controls. Um, although some of these players, you know, are probably familiar with uh, triangle jumps and that sort of thing. Oh, only the best jumps, the triangle jumps. But I, one of the things I found frustrating about this game is every time you get to a new area, you don't really know what the route through it is going to be. So a lot of times you're just sort of guessing your way through. After you've done it once or twice, you can figure out, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. But that happens a couple times, you run out of lives and you restart the game. Yeah. I, I feel like... The frustrating thing about making progress in this is that if the jumps are fairly precise, I would start getting fairly frustrated uh, pretty early on, I'm not going to lie, you know? It's just, uh, I'm trying to think, what am I trying to think? I, that was exactly what my experience was playing yeah. this, was just instant frustration from the platforming. And that's really what makes this so special. <laughs> oh yeah. I, 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 this is a, uh, this is Kate's pick, but it's not too dissimilar from the kind of thing I would pick. But it's definitely more appropriate for brackets because not just being a bad game, it's a real frustrating bad bad game. Yeah, I, I can see that it's. Like, I, I definitely enjoy this so far, it's... Oh yeah, it's fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and these players are actually doing a good enough job with the platforming to make it look easier than it is. I mean, you saw how much they struggled with it right in the beginning. For me, it was like half an hour of that. Um, but they've done really an amazing job of figuring out how it works very quickly. Oh, yeah. That's how they've gotten so far in this tournament. Honestly, there, there's some weird skill with uh, 
playing a game blind and actually being able to make progress, honestly, it's one of those skills that I have a hard time with, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, it's one of the things yeah. that makes it uh, really interesting for a tournament like this, that it's not necessarily, you know, the best speedrunner that's going to win the game or the, the person who's best at uh, platforming. Um, you really have to know how to experiment, try different things, be creative, uh, and just have that, that really unique skill set of playing games blind, particularly bad games blind, which is like a whole different experience. Oh, yeah. I wish those lovely googly-eyed uh, creatures inside those walls would like come out and attack you. Um, they, you'll see them more later in the game, but um, they're so adorable. And they look so harmless there. Um, the rotary phone, I was like, okay, this is kind of weird, but... You know, they're a bunch of monsters. I guess an earthworm is kind of a monster. Um, but the enemies get real weird as yeah. the game goes on. Um, oh yeah, you're seeing on some girls stream uh, some of these... Um, some, side, some type of insect, maybe? I don't... I, I think so. I mean, the, the antennae kind of suggest some kind of uh, some kind of thing you might see in a in a weird dream. Oh yeah, like I, I was gonna say they're cute, but they're really not that cute. I'm not the biggest fan. I, I'm very uh, biased when it comes to uh, some of the characters who show up in various games. The telephone, adorable. Okay, my favorite. Yeah. Uh, weird antennae creatures. What about the one with eyes on stalks? Yeah, that's a little creepy. Yeah, they just they just eventually get to be like random weird objects, which is not something that was a feature of Manic Miner. This is an uh, 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 artistic license. Artistic um, license, I love it. An artistic license that should have been revoked, but nevertheless, artistic <laughs> license. Do, 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 do. You know, some girl has made it all the way to level 7. That is a huge amount of progress. Xandra definitely has some ground to make up, but we're only 18 minutes into the mouth. In, into the mouse? The match. Uh, so, I honestly could see Xandra catching up in a little bit. Uh, so let me tell you about this uh, review from the uh, magazine that the MSX Club magazine that this uh, accompanied. Um, they called this game a golden oldie, uh, or, or they they called Manic Miner a golden oldie. That this is a, a ref that this game is a reference to, um, and it describes the music as happy, happy tune, which yeah, fair enough. Um, and as a bonus, your computer will not need additional sound modules. So oh, good. That's that's a good feature of the game. It doesn't, like it. It doesn't require additional hardware. Um, you know, it points out that the, uh, the the initial screen shows you um, sort of the basics of what you're doing in the game. It's true. So you know what you're getting into. I mean, you don't really know what you're getting into in the game, but you know on some level. Uh, and they describe this as purely a game of skill, which I guess is a way of saying that there's no RNG, which is I, true. I don't but... see any RNG, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's a good feature. Um, and uh, then it just sort of describes, you know, you go around, pick up the keys, um, but there are a lot of dangers to be brave. They said the first few levels are simple. I'm not sure I'd agree with that. They're simple in design, but... Uh, uh, they're, they're not too easy. Um, and it says, yeah, you'll manage to beat the first few levels. <laughs> this is going to get quite difficult as one makes progress. And in addition to skill, thinking is required, which is, um, I, I, I guess, an important 
uh, feature of a video game that make you think. Yeah, I like that. You know, I, except there are some days that I like to just sit down and play a game and just, you know, have it be mindless, you know? It's, yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't want to be playing this on, on one of those days. Yeah, it's like, no, I need to decompress. I don't need... Oh my gosh, yeah, this is stressing me out already, Jeff. Jeff, I'm so stressed. Look at this, uh, look yeah. at this little little train wobbly thing on some girl's screen. I'm stressed, man. I mean, I feel like this game is sort of designed to stress you between the timer and uh, you know, all the enemies. There's just so much going on screen at once. One thing that and I do like about this, damage. by the way, is that, like, at least some of the hitboxes are a little bit forgivable. I'm not 100% sure how they work, but uh, it's fairly precise, but not as precise as it looks when you're trying to jump over things. Like, you can clip a little bit into the sprites uh, with the skulls and the weird, the, the little cart. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to describe it as forgiving, but I will say it's fair in the sense that um, the hitboxes match the sprites. So you you know if you made it or not. Um, and yeah, you can clip into them a little bit, but honestly, like it's basically impossible to make the jumps uh, without clipping. So I guess in that sense, the hitboxes are a little bit smaller than the sprites. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe I'm being too optimistic here. <laughs> there we go, some girl moving on to level 5. Now, she has made it to level 7 before, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, ooh, watch out for the candy. Man. Too much sugar. So the, uh, the reviewer said that this game was a relief to play because it was a straightforward game of skill. A relief to play? Like, what are you <laughs> comparing that to back in the... <laughs> Like, right? Yeah. So this is this is like Super Mario World just came out, and this is a relief to play. Oh, good. <laughs> you know, oh, all of those sprites. Oh, it moves kind of fast. Uh, oh, geez, Mario World is just so stressful. But, whew. You know, then again, like, compared to the last game that we have, this might be a relief. Because that game was beast of horror. Absolutely stressful. How could you even kill the bees? Here, you don't even have to worry about killing anything. You don't have that ethical consideration, you know? It's just, oh, there's a phone. Well, I just don't want to get touched by the phone. I don't have to kill the phone. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a totally non-violent, family-friendly game. Yeah. Ooh, as never long as your, corridor. your your children have a lot of patience, which is you know something children are known for. <laughs> Not having. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Honestly, it depends on the game. I played a lot of games when I was a kid that probably required more patience than. Uh, most games out there. I mean, I beat... I'm trying to think. I remember as a kid, I beat Little Nemo the Dream Master, which is not a trivial game at all. But, like, it took me so long as an adult to be able to beat that again. Uh... I also find my my conception of time's a little different as an adult because there's, like, other things I could be doing with my time, or these days, like... You can just get another game on Steam if you're unhappy with the one you're playing. Um, and there's, like, a lot to choose from. So, um, you know, I, people can get a little impatient these days that, um, I don't know, if you're a kid and, like, you have three games and this is one of them, like, you're kind of stuck with it. <laughs> yeah, but I would... Honestly, uh, I'm just thinking, compared to Minor 2049er, which I played a lot as a kid, I probably would have enjoyed this a lot more. Uh, really? So, yeah. Manic Miner was based on 
2049 or uh, this yeah. game is based on manic miner so this is like a third generation game already uh okay so then you have the munching baby carriages <laughs> um, nom 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 <laughs> yeah well poor babies just gonna get devoured yeah, I feel like they've already been devoured, and now they're coming for you. Oh, oh, okay. So, baby, the babies are long gone. There's no saving the babies. Sorry, that's my every, hope. All of you baby lovers out there, I'm sorry it's not happening. And at any rate, we're in a rush to get to mom. So, the babies, if they still, if they haven't been eaten, uh, can, can wait. <laughs> I love it. Oh. To be fair, you probably shouldn't put your baby in a uh, carnivorous baby carriage to begin with. Yeah, if you, if, if you buy a carriage and it has teeth, maybe you should reconsider the purchase. You know, just take it back. Or if, if for some reason they won't take it back, just take it to Walmart. They'll take anything. They'll give you a gift card. So I have a question from Chad. Is it possible to finish this game in an hour? Uh, yes, you know, if you play it perfectly. Um, there is a, a YouTube video <clears throat> where they use the rewind feature, and they beat the first ten levels in ten minutes, roughly. Okay. Um, so, you know, you, you can beat it. I don't know exactly how many levels there are, but... Um, it, it's, it's unlikely that you're just not going to run out of lives. <laughs> um, it's, uh, you know, no no saves, uh, no continues. You just, like a lot of the games at the time, you're just back to the beginning. But the players generally seem to be fairly comfortable now with the platforming aspect. And I, I think, think so. At this point, it's, it's just a race to... Uh, figure out as many levels as quickly as possible. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that they do want to do is just make sure they don't die too much. That way, you know, all it does, you only need one good push in order to make uh, progress and come in yeah. first place when it comes to this tournament. So, One thing that's nice about that for race purposes is that it means people are going to have a both people are going to have a chance pretty close to the end of the game. You're not going to have a situation where one person is so far ahead that the other person has no chance of catching up. True. I love it. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, until about no, eight minutes, until about eight minutes before the end of the match, it's anybody's game. Yeah, this no! game just doesn't look like it should be that difficult, but it just doesn't. It it is it is um, deceptive. No, it's like, oh, it's... collect some keys, find mom. Easy. Well, honestly, you know, back in the day when games like this came out, they I wouldn't necessarily say they had to artificially uh, increase the length, uh, but. You know, making it more difficult definitely uh, gives it more of a life. And considering that you can get through the game relatively quickly, if uh, it, you know, if you know what you're doing and you're great at playing this game, then yeah, I think I think making it more difficult is completely fine. That that's my opinion when it comes to old school games. Yeah, um, we're, we're definitely a little spoiled these days with games, um, but, you know, the, uh, some of this mindset just really originated from the arcades, um, yep. that games have to be really hard to eat your quarters. Um, this game just eats your babies. <laughs> definitely a better option. Yeah. Oh. I mean, they're not your babies, it just eats somebody's babies. They could be my babies. I don't care. Like, I if I have know. babies, I, wonder... I, I don't want them. Go ahead and take them away. Feed them to the carriages. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know where these babies came from, man. <laughs> but they 
so, seem to have had a sense of humor to put in some of these enemies. We are half an hour into the game, by the way. Uh, some girl is definitely in the lead, but Xandra still has a really strong chance of making some progress here. Don't let me babysit. No, I'm a good babysitter. The thing is, like, there, there's a difference between uh, babysitting and owning a baby. Uh, it's and what? The difference you're... between 18 hours and 18 years. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of a big difference. Yeah. talk a lot about babies. There are a lot of baby quotes from you. I, I have <laughs> strong opinions about babies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually taking care of a kid sometime would be kind of fun. You know, honestly, it would be fun to learn what type of stupid things I say that my kids end up repeating and then going to school and people are like, wow, I didn't realize you were so dumb. And I mean, like, I learned get that from the quote from the quote bot. <laughs> I learned it from Data Brasentia. Like, you can see all the dumb things you've said. You know, we have hundreds of them just stored in the database here. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's so convenient. You know, we can search through them and find dumb things you've said on just about any topic imaginable. Yeah. Uh, some girl had a strange death. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but okay. What's the name of this? Search for Mum. The game is Search for Mum. The goal? To make as much progress as they can in an hour. Some girl is definitely in the lead, having made it to level at least seven. I'm not 100% sure how far, but uh, yeah, some girl is doing pretty dang well. Xandra is starting to get the hang of this, though. Look, level three and no deaths. So, Jeff, I know that uh, this game is based off of another game. Have you played the original, the Manic Miner? I have not, um, but I do have a lot of experience with the game that was based on Miner 2049er. Although, um, yeah. that was more of an inspiration than uh, a remake like this is. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. It's definitely... Uh, like, Miner 2049er, the goal was to walk along all of the floor uh, to clear it. You know, this, the slides definitely look like Miner 2049er, but if not for those, I honestly wouldn't see the connection. I wouldn't either, um, but the, um, uh, the magazine article... Uh... No, not the magazine article. I, I had looked up on Wikipedia Manic Miner because I didn't know a lot about that. And uh, you know, there were some references on some of the web pages I read to uh, it having been inspired by Miner 2049er. I, I still love that my dad is a huge Miner 2049er fan. I don't know if he ever beat it, but, you know, he made some good progress. But it scared wow, me as that. a child. I was terrified. Like, because... Here, here's the deal. All old school games had loud, scary sound effects, especially yes. when you died. Uh, this yes. game is kind. It doesn't terrify you. It's kind of weird, actually, because dying just warps you back. There's no death animation. There's no sound. There's no like... You're just like... Oh, yeah, that was the worst. The worst sounds. The worst sounds. I mean, plus dying is, you know, bad too, but the sounds, yeah. Yeah, that's, I don't know, may, maybe that's part of the reason why I'm so jumpy as an adult. Like, I'm just constantly thinking, the Atari's gonna get me. All those sound effects, they're after me. See, that's what happens when you're not nice to babies. They, they grew up to be scared of video games. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Does not letting them play Minor 2049er count as being nice? I'd say probably, but, you know. 
I don't know. I mean, parenting standards have evolved quite a bit over the years. Um, there's probably some study on it. Yeah, they're like, no more, no more Atari for children. That, that's right out, okay? Back in my day, my parents made me play Atari until I puked from the fear. <laughs> <laughs> At least this music is pretty super enjoyable. I love it. Like it was definitely a good design choice. Yeah, for having one song that repeats through the whole game, they could have done a lot worse. I think it was also um, pretty well known uh, to a lot of folks at the time. Oh yeah, uh, Money Money Plants Flying Circus, especially the the British folk. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say that Americans would necessarily recognize this quite as well, but yeah, it definitely had its audience. For any folks in chat who are not familiar with uh, Monty Python uh, troupe and their movies and TV show and radio casts and everything, that's definitely worth checking out some oh, yeah. zany British humor. I, I like British humor. It's often pretty strange. Uh, welcome in, by the way, Mystery Fun House. Come and relax and watch a game that uh, I really enjoy. It, You know what? I'm watching this and I just want to play it, Jeff. Wow. I mean, it's it's much more fun when you don't have to do the thinking part of it, <laughs> and you're not under time pressure, and you're just watching somebody else do it, because um, that's what makes it a very stressful experience. Um, if you take all the stress out, sure. Yeah, but, you know, remember, th this is the type of game that, you know, my childhood kind of had, you know, so... I, I can deal with the stress that goes with that. I can deal with the time limit, you know, I'm used to that stuff. And it doesn't have scary sound effects when you die, so that's even better. Yeah. No, I, I don't I don't doubt that you're used to this kind of thing. I just would be surprised if you looked at all the games in your library and you're like, you know what I want to play today? Uh, search for Mum. <laughs> I don't know, Jeff. Maybe I want to. I don't... I don't want to play Millipede today. That's that's too good for me. I'm gonna play Search for Mom. Millipede's a good game, Jeff. That's what I'm saying. You you you, you would you would need to be passing that up, passing up Drelbs, passing up Weird Dreams, all those uh, Orb 3D. Well, not Orb 3D. Oh yeah, know, I, I would play probably <laughs> anything other than Orb 3D. What a stupid, what a stupid game. Uh. I don't know. Like, if I had a choice between... <laughs> I was going to say this in Borderlands 2, I might say, yeah, let's give this a shot. <laughs> let's go ahead and search for Mom, you know? She's somewhere. Yeah. She's got to be. I'm so I'm so glad that these days we don't have to choose between two games. I mean, when I was uh, really young, we had a... Uh, oh, some um, girl's going to die. A snack. Essentially a, a Pong console, and it had eight, like, quote-unquote games on it, but they were all Pong. They just had, like, they were different sports, like volleyball, tennis, like, okay. it's the exact same thing. They just had different colors and named it something different. Yeah. There were a lot, oh my gosh. There are just a lot of games that are just copy-paste, you know? Yeah. And this, this is at least uh, original it has variety for what it is. Or, well, original ish. Yeah. Based off another game, but you know, pretty good. Mom, we need to get you. I wanna save you. You're so sad, Mom. Well, I, I meant original ish, not not necessarily in the sense of the gameplay, but in the somebody wrote this from scratch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cer right. Certainly wasn't a copy paste job. Um, 
which is, you know, a lot more than you can say for a lot of the games at the time. But to be fair, you know, some of the MSX stuff was written in Assembler, a lot of it was written in BASIC. Uh, yeah. It's not like nowadays you can just, you know, call a library and use your API or whatever and everything comes ready-made for you. Yeah. Well, that's, I would that's love true, but... <laughs> to learn how to make some of this in, like, basic. That would be fun. Uh, it's about as frustrating as playing the games of the era, but um, certainly a good way to learn uh, logic. Um, oh, you're saying I'm dumb now. Okay, Jeff. Wow, Bruce Edgeon does no logic. I, that's not what I said. <laughs> I said Bersencha really doesn't know logic. What? <laughs> wow. 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 I didn't expect you to come in here and start <laughs> drama, Jeff. I don't know why I would be uh, uh, a GM if I wasn't going to start drama in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't, that... want, you don't want the nice people being do, GMs. Do, 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 do. It's true. You want you want the sadistic ones. Hey, Xandra is on level five. This is looking pretty good for her. Like, and that's with five lives. That's pretty huge. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that Xandra has a pretty good chance of moving into first with this playthrough, depending on you know how things go in the next little bit. <laughs> It would also be great to see. So that never-ending corridor, I was never able to get to it. So I don't know if, uh -oh. that's, if that's trolling you and it, in fact, ends. Yeah, maybe it, it does. It looks like you're supposed to be... Yeah, right? I, I maybe really, it's a puzzle. I really like, by the way, some girls' mouse strats that we have there. We've had this mouse just sitting there for at least half the match now. You know, but it's my belief that people who leave their mouse there are blessed with the mouse's good luck. That's an interesting belief. Yeah. I've got a... You know, if anybody else wants to subscribe to my beliefs here... <laughs> are you proselytizing the stream? Yeah, sure! Come join, everybody. Kuso what? would sure make a strange religion. <laughs> We could probably get away with it, you know. And the core belief would be that life is suffering. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would fit in pretty well with a number of other belief systems. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, in order to uh, realize the meaning, the meaning, the, what am I trying to say? Meaningless, less, meaningless, less, meaning, Jeff, I, I lost my words. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Uh, meaning, meaning, meaninglessness of life. There we go. You, you got to play Kuso. Okay. The, the pointlessness. Yeah. That's that's an easier word to say. Meaninglessness. I mean, I'm always I'm a big fan of like absurdist art and uh, uh, theater and that sort of thing. So oh, same. weird Kuso stuff fits in so well with that. Yeah, and Ooh. you know what? Our hymns, if we did start a Kusa religion, they would all be songs by Yoko Ono. <laughs> I'm liking this. I'm liking this. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> hey, uh, it looks like some girl is on to the baby carriages again. Xandra is there as well. I just need to learn to keep some of my bad ideas to myself. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm just digging the music, Jeff. That's all. I figured you would. Okay, um, it looks like some girl is back on to level seven. This is the killer level. I haven't heard the uh, the song in in a while. So when I heard it, I was like, I know this song. Wait, what's it from? Uh, and like, it sounded like. Oh, maybe this is some kind of patriotic thing, or I was like, oh, because it's it's like a little different on the MSX without the like uh, farting <laughs> from the uh, from the Monty Python. That it's thing. true. A lot of things are different when there there's no farting. <laughs> <laughs> but after a minute, I was like, oh, that's what it is. Do, 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 do. And then I was happy. I love it. Yeah. Both of the runners have made it to level 7. Some girl definitely has made it here earlier and I think has collected more keys. Oh my gosh. But Xander is making a pretty good push here. Watch out. Watch out for the weird, ugly, cute things that Jeff thinks are cute. Why do you think these are cute? Hey, Xandra has all the keys here. Um... Well, because uh, they're smiling and they have big eyes and cute little curly antennas and kind of short little feet. I think that's very cute. Xander is on to the ghost. That is a lead change, everybody. And look at these cute ghosts. Wow. Yeah, the ghosts are great. The ghosts will mess with you, though. Honestly, I'm a little bit surprised here, you know? Some girl had such a lead for like the entire match and now 47 minutes in Xandra moving to uh, first place I mean some girl just needs to manage to get these keys uh, but it, it's been definitely the struggle oh no Xandra fallen to her oh. death gotta search for mom where is she oh Which no the ghost nice is, uh... Like from Xandra's screen, when you take that top route, you can see what's above you. You can get a sense of the level, but... Oh, they both came over it at the same time. Oh, no. It's going to be a little tough uh, for some girl to get back to that point, but it's still possible. I mean, you can go through nine levels in about ten minutes. Yeah, it's definitely going to be possible. I think both of them have at least one more good push. Some girl already taken a death. It looks like she is opting to reset the emulator. I think that's a good call. Yeah. Because when you start getting to the levels you're not familiar with, you really go through lives quickly. Oh yeah. And even though you know you might know the platforming part well, just um, soft locking is sometimes something you can't avoid. You just don't know what's going to happen if you get a blind jump. I love that people are watching this and thinking, oh no, my bracket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody, but occasionally you're just going to guess something wrong. Uh, if that is the case. You know, some girl in Xandra, I, I think that when I was looking at this match, I had a really hard time trying to decide what it looked like for this. Uh, so... Yeah, I honestly I have no idea what I put. I'm not gonna go ahead and I'm not going to say who I put as or should I? Should I, Jeff? Uh, because that I don't I don't know. That might be rude. Like that. that that I might be rude. rude. Yeah. But yeah, I I can go ahead and say that this was definitely a tough match to call and predict. Yeah. That's what makes these these races so much fun. You have the brackets, you really get the, the creme de la creme of Puso players, uh, and you put them up against uh, some really crazy stuff and of excitement uh, right to the very end. Yeah, it's honestly, you know, it still is possible that we could have a last-minute lead change and some girl moves into the lead. But 
because she's still stuck on something that has been extremely difficult up to this point, honestly, I think some girl just needs to conquer the mind game, uh, specifically of that cute little antenna creature. Yeah. So, Bersenche, I saw you did a poll of the uh, bracket participants. I, I was real surprised by the results. Um, we have a lot of new players and a lot of for people, it's their first time in the bracket. True. Um, do you think that means it's a good idea for, for people that may be interested in Kuso but haven't tried it before to think about signing up the next time we do a tournament? Well, I mean, yes. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. Obviously, everybody should sign up. We, we're probably going to have applications in November or early December, so... You know, no no stress right now. You don't have to decide right now. You can go ahead and think about it. But that is more or less what uh, what is going to happen. Oh my gosh, this music is driving me nuts. Wait. <laughs> so, like... The first 50 minutes of it, you were loving it, and then by 52 minutes, you're like, oh. <laughs> well, yeah, that that's how it goes. I had a pretty long welcome, though. Like, for a tune to be just completely repeating itself uh, for almost an hour. Um, but yeah, you know, back in the day, you'd be, and especially, you know, if you're not as good at games like this as our two competitors be hearing a lot of hours of this song true i do know by the way that uh xandra you know looking at some of the games earlier on in this tournament uh really liked playing through paris to car rally special uh or at least seeing it i can't remember if she played it but uh i I don't know. There, there are always some games that are going to be absolutely amazing. Some games that are not nearly as fun. Uh, I feel like this game is going to be one that they really enjoy a lot more than some of the others. You know, what what games have they had anyway? I think I gave Xandra a game, um, but I don't know uh, any of the others that they've had. I mean, some girl had time slip, a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a sound of thunder, uh, had ghost manor on the Turbo Graphics 16. Yeah, that wasn't exactly the most. Oh yeah, that's one. right. I commentated that one. Xandra had Brian the Lion. That was something special. Uh, also, Titanic 2005. Contra Legacy of War, uh, Siobhan Action 3, Castle of Dracula, you know, all, all the all the good ones. Honestly, I'm just thinking about those, and there are at least a couple games, I think, on each person's history that I would not want to play more than this. Like, if I had a choice, this would definitely be up there uh, for what I would want to play through. I don't know. I mean... They're just making it look so so much easier than it actually is. I think if you tried the controls, uh, you know, the music's good, the graphics is good, um, puzzles are interesting. Like, that was what was really frustrating for me, is like, I want to like this game. It's just so frustrating. Yeah, I think that uh, you're completely right. Well, this is why they're in the bracket, and... Uh, why I didn't make it to the bracket back in the day, you know, it's like I can look at it and think oh This is going to be easy and then uh, actually playing stuff is not doable uh, Yeah, yeah, I I completely agree with you. They're making this look a lot more playable than it really is Hey, some girl has a chance right now This is pretty much some girl's final chance to move into first place now, she did have first place for quite a while here, uh, but she is opting to go this bottom route, which I don't know if it's the best idea. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. She might reevaluate that now. 
No. Possibly. No, she's I... going to be going... Like, I, I think that if she manages to do it uh, once, it's going to work. I, I think it's a fine strat yeah. as long as you do pull it off. But the challenge is actually pulling it off. Oh, she's yeah. going to the right now. Oh. Interesting. I, I can dig that as long as there's enough time to get through. Oh my gosh. Which there is. It's uh, barely though. It's tight. But yeah, it's tight, but you can do it. I do, I, it's also, you know, I kind of like it that the game offers you multiple ways to solve some of these uh, puzzles. Yeah, it's a non linear <laughs> video game, everybody. You gotta hustle and bustle, okay? It's like an open world. Like, you have an entire screen that you can move around on. Oh my gosh. Almost out of time. This is gonna be... St oh, nope. Not fast enough. Oh, that is unfortunate. I think if some girl just takes a couple sections here a little bit faster... Oh, no! Last chance right here. Some girl, are you gonna be able to do it? Oh my gosh. I'm so stressed. Jeff. Yeah, this is this is intense. This is, no! It's all gonna come down to this. Oh! And that is that. We'll go ahead and keep playing to see what Xandra can do, but Xandra will definitely be taking the victory with this match. Wow, that was such a close call there. And Xandra is game over. I am going to call it right there. That is the end of this match uh, because neither of them can make it back to where they were before. Well, you can see definitely from that end just how hard this game is and, it, uh, and how poorly it controls uh, these top-notch players uh, you know, dying five times in a row to one section. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to hearing what they have to say about it. Yeah, hopefully they come and join. Xandra managed in the last about 15 minutes or so to move into first. Some girl had a really good push, but unfortunately it didn't end up working out for them. That is, you know, that's just how it goes. You win some, you lose some. Hello there, some girl. Hello. Hey, great job. You know, honestly, uh, I was watching and I thought there is no way you're going to lose. And then just <laughs> right in the last 15 minutes, Xandra had one good push. That's all it really takes, one good push and move into yeah, the I, lead. I got so close at level 7 too, I just kept making dumb mistakes and it kept eating my jump inputs with the falling platforms and... I know! <laughs> oh my gosh! It's like, it's like playing uh, Shining Force all over again, where you have to hold and then hope that your input will be red, will be red in the right time. Wait, yeah. really? Yeah, what we actually didn't, we didn't talk about. Um, yeah, but it, it drops uh, your inputs a lot for jumping. Well, sure does. Not, well, normally, I think the jumping is fine. It's just when, like, sometimes when the platform is disappearing, it sometimes lets you jump. Sometimes it just drops you down, and that killed me like so many times. Yep. Oh no! It's it, it's kind of like uh, so. Yes, uh, it's. I kind of learned at some point, like, okay, you only get so much air control. You mm -hmm. only, like, you have to hold the button to jump. And, like, yeah, of it, course. Uh, and, like, with, with those uh, murderous little, like, um, uh, like, mining wagons, it was really a moment of, like, okay, no, uh, with the little zigzag part where you have to go down, it was really, like, okay, if I hold left, left and jump, I make the jump. If I press jump, wait. And then push like, left. <laughs> Yeah, and then we're yeah we're going down. That's like, but if you wait too long, then you lose air control, and you just watch those platforms go by, and like, well, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, what I was doing is I was actually jumping like most of the way, then I would stop in midair and then push left again, and that worked actually really consistently for me. Oh, that's good. I tried that once, but lost air control in the middle. So yeah, I lost air control one time, but other than that, it was actually working for me. Nice. Good. It's, yeah, honestly, yeah. you know, I think while watching it, uh, honestly, you two made this game actually seem playable because I was thinking <laughs> this looks like this looks like it's going to be fun. Like I want to go was play fun. it. 
Yes, I, fun, I like it. I kind of want to run it now. It's great. <laughs> I, I love it. I, didn't have to... I just wish I could go back to level 7 faster without having to right? replay the whole game. Yeah. I came over oh. on level 7 like four times. Yep, I like, ugh. I, at some point near the end also I figured, you know what, I, I might as well grab a bunch of those keys just in case I don't make it. And I actually <laughs> was falling to my death through the door. So I think, oh, no. I, but it still worked, it still counted. I so, actually got all the keys but ran out of time. No! Yeah, I, I figured, oh, I'm gonna run out of time. Just let's let's go. At least my corpse will enter level 8. And hopefully that'll count for you. Yeah, right? <laughs> I didn't even think of that. I could have, I could have gotten it if I'd done that. Yeah, I just, I, you know, sometimes I just make bad decisions and luck <laughs> into it works. stress. Yep, yep, pretty much. It's like, this is a, fun, this is a fun game. Uh, it is. Music, music kind of like grows on you after a while. Oh, yeah, oh I, I, I like the it. music. I was having it was, fun. It, it did get yeah, a little old, I think, after about 15 minutes. But other than that, <laughs> it was like. The, the only question okay. I had is, you said that escape was like a suicide button. I could never get that to work. So uh, the thing I, I found to me was you need to really hammer a button multiple times before the game <laughs> recognizes yeah. that you're pressing. I tried. I was like mashing the heck out of the escape <laughs> button, like, like come on, it didn't work. Oh no. Yeah, yeah but oh yeah, uh, someone in, in my chat is pointing out like yeah, yeah. The uh, I, I managed to cheese my way into another victory with like the the, the death the death fall. <laughs> into level 8, but that's, that's, I mean, I guess, I just, it's very on brain for me, because, you know, the mouse always finds the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> well, very well played, congratulations. Seriously, <laughs> Thank congratulations, you so Zandra. Some girl, you're still in this, though. It's doubly elimination. <clears throat> you're not going anywhere quite yet. Uh, oh, yeah. Anything you two want to say before we move on to the next match? Um, I had a lot of fun, and I'm excited to give people a game next round. Ah, <laughs> Oh, nice. yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Well, Xandra, some girl's going to get a little revenge. Just Ooh. so you know. On you. <gasps> yeah, you personally. Oh, no. <laughs> You're now my mortal enemy. I'm sorry. I'm oh, so sorry. I, ho I hope we can be like good mortal enemies and like, you know, shake on it and like have a yeah. drink sometime. And, like, oh, yeah, that was a good rivalry. I guess. Only yeah. the best of mortal enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I've always wanted a mortal enemy. <laughs> I had one, but then 20 years passed and we became friends, so, you know, uh, slots open. That's Don't cute. worry, we'll never be friends. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, okay, before we start any more drama, like Jeff, we'll go right. ahead and move on. <laughs> Thank yep. you right, so much. Thanks for having me, and good luck with the rest of the matches. All right. <laughs> if you haven't gotten a couple subs, you might... Uh want to acknowledge before we move on <laughs> yeah take care Xandra take care some girl thank you so much right. Jeff thank you thank you and I'll see you around see just you a reminder around. this is September which uh, you can uh, get what is it half price uh, something on a, like that a, something like that on a first time tier one sub or upgrading your gift uh, to a paid tier um, so to think about there. Um, now that I've done the plug for Versace, so he doesn't, <laughs> That's... So he doesn't have to do it, I'm going to take off. That's flattering, Jeff. Thank you. I'll see you later. Oh, everybody, thank you for coming to Cuso Grande. I do want to give a huge shout out, by the way, to uh, Maisie and to Space Cow 2455, uh, Silver Moon gifting a sub. Thank you, uh, everybody who is supporting. I appreciate. Uh, all of you, honestly, it's extremely helpful. So, uh, 